Welcome to Kids Time. It's the letter X this week and we have a fun activity for you at the end of our video, so stay tuned for that. But we want to have a special shout out to all of our listeners. We're so glad that you could join us for these videos. For our first song today, we're going to sing a song that says, What Begins With X? And we're going to think of words that begin and end with the letter X. So maybe you can think of some before we even start to sing this song and you can add to the ones that we're gonna tell you. So we'll start singing together. What begins with X? What begins with X? We all know we'll tell you so. What begins with X? Hmm, I think I've heard of a xylophone before, that little instrument you play, that begins with the letter X. Um, an X-ray, a picture of your insides of your body, that begins with X. And, oh, the name Xavier, that begins with X too. Can you think of anything else that begins with the letter X? Okay, now we're gonna switch the song and we're gonna say what ends with X. Ready? What ends with X? What ends with X? We all know we'll tell you so. What ends with X? All right, so I'm gonna try to think of some words that end with X. Huh, I'm thinking of an animal with a bushy tail. Maybe a fox. Yes, a fox ends in the word in the letter X. Okay, then how about this? If I make a shape that looks like this, I'm making the shape of a box, and a box ends with the letter X. And then another word that I can think of that ends with the letter X is the word mix. Maybe you mix some ingredients together so that ends with the X sound. All right, thank you for singing that song with us. Now we're gonna sing another one and it actually talks about a fox. So it's to the tune of, of if you're happy and you know it, and we're gonna sing this if you're a fox and you know it. So we have some actions to go along. So it goes like this. If you're a fox and you know it, swish your tail. If you're a fox and you know it, swish your tail. If you're a fox and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a fox and you know it, swish your tail. Okay, now we're going to wiggle our noses like a fox. Okay, here we go. If you're a fox and you know it, wiggle your nose. If you're a fox and you know it, wiggle your nose. If you're a fox and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a fox and you know it, wiggle your nose. Okay, now we're going to show our claws. Here we go. If you're a fox and you know it, show your claws. If you're a fox and you know it, show your claws. If you're a fox and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a fox and you know it, show your claws. Good job. Okay, our last song talks about if we had a little red box, what would you put in it? If you had a little red box, what would you put in it? So you'll listen and hear the different things we'll put in with our little red box and what we do with those things. Okay, it goes like this. Oh, I wish I had a little red box to put my race car in. I take it out and zoom, 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 and I put it back again. Okay, if we had maybe a toothbrush, what would you do with the toothbrush? Brush your teeth? Okay, let's do that one. Oh, I wish I had a little red box to put my toothbrush in. I take it out and brush, 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 and put it back again. How about a snack? Maybe an apple? What would you do with an apple? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Let's do that one. Oh, I wish I had a little red box to put my apple in. I take it out and crunch, crunch, crunch and put it back again. Maybe you can think of some other things you'd put in your little red box. All right, now we're gonna talk a little bit more about the letter X. So in the center here, we have a big, black X and it's a really fun letter to make because you just cross two lines and it makes the sound x, x, like that and so here we have an X ray like Lindsay talked about a picture of the inside of your body so here's like the head 
and the shoulders and the ribs and the pelvis, that's a big word. And so this is a picture of an x-ray. And here we have a mom giving a kiss to their little kid. So sometimes we draw an X for kiss and O is for the hug. So in a card, sometimes people might write X's and O's at the end for hugs and kisses. And this is a picture of a little girl playing a xylophone. Maybe some of you have played a xylophone before. I love xylophones. And over on the other side, we have a picture of a doctor looking at an x-ray. That's a real picture of someone's chest and what's going on in that x-ray. Then below, we have a map. And sometimes on a treasure map, there's an X because X marks the spot where the treasure might be. And then up here, we have a craft that we did once at the library and we made an X and then we put some bars on it. Hmm, what does that look like? Maybe it looks kind of like a xylophone. So that is for the letter X. All right, our books for the letter X. Our first one is called Stretch by Doreen Cronin. And we picked this book because exercise has the letter X um, in the word. And this book, can um, you can stretch along with it and maybe you can exercise with it. This one's found on Tumble Books. Our next one is found on Bridges. Usually we have two on Tumble Books, but this time we have three on Bridges. Um, it's called Fox and Crow Are Not Friends. And this one's by Melissa Wiley. You can find this one on Bridges, like I said. And Fox, we said before, has the letter X at the end. Okay, our next one is called The Crayon Box That Talked. Can you imagine if a crayon box could talk? What would they say? This one's by Shane DeRolf, and you can find this one on Bridges. And um, Box right here has the letter X at the end. And the last one has already an X word we've already used, Fox. It's called Fox and Socks by Dr. Seuss. And maybe you've read this one before and you'd like to read it again and you can find it on Bridges. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is a little fun activity with you. This is the surprise part of the video. So we are going to have a little race. Lindsay and I are each gonna draw a fish and our fish are gonna race down the sink. So this is gonna be kind of fun. So we're gonna stand up and take you on a little journey. It might get a little bumpy, but we're gonna have a race with fish down the sink drain. All right, mm -hmm. let's go. Okay, now we're in the bathroom and make sure you do this activity with a grown up. You have to have somebody with you, an adult or a grown up to help you do this activity. We have dry erase markers. And it's really important that you use only dry erase markers. So I have a blue one. And I have a green one. And it's nice to have different colors so you can tell the difference between your fish. Yes. Now we're going to go over to the bathroom sink and we're going to tell you how this works. So here we are at the bathroom sink and we are going to draw some fish. So I'm going to draw my fish right here and I'm going to make it kind of big. And I gotta color it all in, and then I gotta make a connector from the tail to the body. So that's gonna be my interesting shaped fish. Okay, Andrea said too, we wanna make sure your fish is, um, the sink is very dry so that you can draw on here. And you kinda of wanna make sure they're at the same level. Okay. So the fish are right across from each other. We filled them in good. Now, what we're going to do, our sink does not have a stopper, so we're going to take a paper towel, maybe two, one well, paper towel, and we're going to put it right in the sink so it keeps the water in, and like I said, do this with a grown-up, and then we're going to turn the water on, and as the water comes up, the fish are going to actually come off the sink and go into the water, and then we're going to try to race them down the drain. So let's see if this works. Here comes the water. Getting up to the fish. And when it gets to the fish, the fish will come out into the water. Oh, what fish do you think is going to get released first? I'm guessing the green fish. Starting to come off. <laughs> yep, it's going to come off first. And here's the blue fish, it's starting to come off. 
My tail's a little bit too big. Okay, now I'm gonna pull out this and we'll see which fish gets to the drain first. Is it green or is it blue? Oh, oh <laughs> look at the green one! It made it to the drain first. So that's our activity with the fish and we hope you can do that with a grown-up at home. So thank you for joining us for the letter X and we'll see you next time.